They're constantly monitored by facial recognition cameras that are able to instantly put a face to a name. Now the Chinese are also ranked, given a mark out of a possible 950 points. A score in the 700s is considered good, around the 500 mark is not. For now, the number is a sort of bank credit rating, keeping track of everyone's spending habits. I think being ranked is a good thing. A society has to have rules. It forces us to be well behaved. It may seem scary, but it's just like that here. We're used to it, and anyway, we don't have a choice. But in an effort to keep all of its subjects in line, Beijing is taking the system a step further in 2020. It's aggregating data gathered by banks, private companies and the state to rate if someone's a good or bad citizen. By using the most data possible, the so-called big data, the system will play an important role in rebuilding a moral society. The state will go over every detail of a person's life with a fine-tooth comb, their financial situation, spending habits, career, even behavior on social media. Criticizing the government online or displaying outward signs of wealth is a no-no. On the other hand, praising the party or giving blood increases your social credit. Xiao Wen Wang is a model citizen. She lives in Nanjing, a testing ground for social ranking. Married with a child, she has a job in a retirement home, no debts, and she wouldn't dream of jaywalking. As a good citizen, I respect the rules of the road. If I didn't, I'd lose points on my social credit. In theory, everything can be taken into account in the social score, even the most innocuous errands like supermarket shopping. When Xiao Wen Wang makes an electronic payment, her purchases tell the state a lot about her. Buying cigarettes would count against her. On the other hand, nappies show she's an attentive mother. Beer could indicate alcoholism. She'd be better off buying water. In this pilot city of 8 million people, there are only 18,000 model citizens. For Xiaowen Wang, there are perks to be had, such as paying half price for the bus.